Is a legacy Ender 3 style printer still worth your time in 2025? This is my Ender 3 Max Neo. Introduced in 2021, this 300 by 300 by 320 build volume printer is exactly what I was looking for. The keen eyed among you may already notice that there's a little bit hanging out here at the bottom of the printer, uh, the printer hot end, and it's the heater core and what used to be the thermistor. And the, right now it's just the cables that are hanging there. So I'm missing a functioning hot end from this printer and I haven't even powered it on. In order to turn this back into a functioning printer, I headed over to Printables to find an adapter for the V6 hot end that I already have and so that I can affix it to this printer. The one that I found looks like it's going to work. The only issue is it uses that standard V6 hot end cooling fan, which I don't like. So I'm going to head over to Orca Slicer, make a couple modifications that should allow me to use the factory fan cooling shroud. To do this, I'm adding a negative part that's going to allow me to essentially slice that part cooling fan mount off, and I'll be using the factory mount for that with just a few modifications. So overnight, there was a lot of work done on the printer, and I was able to fire off a print before I went to bed, and I would say it's a successful print. There are some issues. I'll talk about those in a minute, uh, but for a first print of an actual uh, file that I was trying to get a product out of, I couldn't be happier. Let's take the shroud off here. I can show you some of the modifications I had to make to the shroud to get everything to fit. I had to make a cutout for the extended fan shroud that I printed out, or sorry, the fan duct. And then in addition, the V6 sticks out a little bit further than the factory uh, heat sink does. So I had to do a little bit of trimming on the top here, but from the front, it doesn't really stick out. You can't really notice it nearly as much. And I also have uh, on the bottom there, a Volcano hot end that I had sitting in the, uh, in the, the toolbox. So for $75, I've been able to enter myself into the 300 by 300 market and be able to print slightly larger objects. And albeit at a slower pace, I think the print quality will speak for itself. That concludes our second adventure into turning e-waste into usable print farm printers.